building hitter. Uh, OG is lacking that build building hitter. They do have split push from the Invoker, but... Oh. Yeah, okay, so they pick up the Sven to... That's kind of... I think that was a response to the TA and the Life Stealer. Cause... It's likely that Jarex is going to look to put pressure onto Thug in the mid lane. And let's see, we'll be waiting with an hour response. He's coming across as well, and it's going to be Jarex with the aggressive lead in onto Thug, forcing him back. Now, the side of Abfinima ready to try and punish this. Anna already trying to head his way away from this, but Spartan's going to get the range for the telekinesis, but the combo's not there. Arrow from MNT is going to be off the mark, and in fact, MNT could be in trouble with the roll forward and the zone strike. MNT brought down low, and that will be your first blood. Abfinim punished there for the lack of execution with that combo. On any of those arrows yet, not even the one on the neutral creep. And Skylark down bottom as well, able to get a nice bunch of XP there as he. As he stole some of the last hits onto those creeps, and they're going to make it go on to No-Tail. I know that he hasn't got teammates around. And I'm going to fully, fully commit here. And if they won't offer any further lockdown. Mid lane makes it go on to Thug. Flies there on the side with the Shadow Word. Thug in a lot of trouble. No way he can be saved if the Forge Spirit takes him out. See if they find it. They'd have to probably punt him back on the Earth Spear, or at the very least connect with the boulder. And then we'll find the initial connection. Good kick back into the duel here. Beautifully played by Jerax. The Sunstrike will seal the deal. They'll find the kill. Scarlet comes across there with the level 6 rotation. Finds one. They do get something in return. Can they get themselves anything more? They surround S4, looking towards Anna. They haven't quite got the damage in this matter. He'll find this open wounds and he does. He'll continue to chase. Anna has the open wound slow. Purged off him by S4. Good stuff from Skylar. Locks it down, but the arrow misses. It doesn't matter though. They get the kill. Good Q here from S4. Coming in with the overwhelming rocks. One more rocket for the spike carapace. Skylark plays his way out of this all. No tail. Oh, it looked like he nearly missed him there. He was going the wrong way, but he just wanted to go for the maximum range. Stormhammer for Flash and Flare is not that effective anymore and this way he can just be up all in their face all the time and they don't have to wait for him to hod farm and stack where he might be vulnerable to a nix assassin jarex coming across is going to get telekinesis by spartan and dragged up to the high ground stun onto no tail from skylark holds him back jerish rolling forward and dropping yet another sentry the vision game is fantastic here from OG. they'll get the duel off take down the nix assassin jarex isn't done moves forward with the magnetized spartan and madara ticking down low madara will be able to rage and get away with the arrow from mnt holds jarex underneath the tower so Abfin and find a kill in return. And now the game of chicken continue. Oh, they're gonna smoke around. Abfinum on the south side, Nyx Assassin with Ooh, and now there was a scan there, but it just came out off, off in time, so they don't actually get the scan connection. Adfinum could get a good movement. No tails heading straight towards them. That's gonna be the jump in immediately with the stun. Madara comes out as well, looking for the backliners, but Fly gets the chance to drop the rock down. No tail falling low. And can they finish him off with the death zone? They've got enough damage by the looks of it. No tails down. And now they're looking for more potentially the magnetize. He's doing quite a bit here to them. Boulder Smash with Jerex as well, holding them back. They'll lose Spartan. Good stun though from the high ground from Skylark holding them. They're looking for the bigger kills. They're trying to get Anna and S4. S4 trying to juke it out in the tree up and then bell damage from Doug is too much. And OG, they found Spartan, but they've lost both S4 and Sven. Okay, they've found a second. A nice little Sunstrike play from Anna to help attempt to even the fight off. The Sentry Ward placement, though, very good for OG. Uh, will make it very hard for Skylark to find the angle that he needs. Sentry down, but no ops in the area. So still going un undiscovered. No tell. Okay. Oh, he jumps back. Looking for the back line. He's trying to get S4, making sure there's no jump in. Matter of focus, he's no tell and no tell. He's kind of been split apart from the rest of his team because of this play. And that's the spin down. Ad been in there beautifully breaking up OG. But their smoke's now worn off. They've backed off. There'll be a scan, and Abfinim's gonna know that they're in the neighborhood. Skylark leading the way. Can he get that jump? Fly would be a perfect target. Make sure they can take him out of the fight before the rock comes out. They get the vision. Telekinesis lifts him up. He's out. There's no chance of KRD offering an Abfinim, and they're looking for more. Moving in onto No Tail. Post the Ghost Trick starts to force them back, but indeed this stolen war cry doing so much here for the side of Abfinim. OG just can't fight back into it, though. Jumps forward, looks towards No Tail, but they'll lose the TA. He's got the Aegis. A good duel from S4. Ends matter. Thug. Play his way out of this one. They've got to be careful here, Abfinim. Forcing him away. And the tie still sticking down. The jump four from S4 is held back by the spike carapace on Skylark. MNT DP's away. Skylark should be able to escape as well. Ooh. For Ana, he does have a four staff. Let's see Ooh. how good Ana's yeah. reactions are. Can he play into this one? He's gonna have to force that in and then stun and then pop out. And I think it's about time. Yep, force forward, goes for the stun, but oh no, he misses the stun! And 
dude. He is so oh, fast. He pays for that mistake, Skylark. And Madara could be in trouble as well. Ray's still on cooldown for five seconds. TP as well. At the Warlock. The problem is BKB won't stop him from the Legion Commander. Nor will it stop the Rock. So they need to be able to kill the Warlock before the Rock comes out. And a lot of it is due to the Nyx. Madara's actually going to get jumped upon him. Maybe a bit of a bait. Spartan moves forward trying to help out the Lifestealer. He's going to live throughout the duel. Now looks to back up and run. Anna boxes over on top of the Chaotic Offering Golem. Looks towards Spartan. Spartan goes for the TP out. He's going to make it. Madara, can he survive here? Skylark's in the neighborhood, but the jump force from the S4 is there. Now chop down the Lifestealer. He's bottom tower. OG now. With the smoke ready to go. Spartan is ready to pop it. They ping him out. And this could be one of those timings that catches out for him out. Because if they're keeping track of the, the Chaotic Offering, they'll know it's not there. And they're going to make this move immediately in with the duel, catching out the TA and thugs down. They're going to lose more percentage here. Good tornado to clip Skylark. They'll surround Spartan, who turns around with a stolen tornado, but no tail with the BKB continues to chase down. In fact, Spartan, can he live? He's been dusted up. The Shadower ticking him down low. Holds back the Sven with a telekinesis. Tries his best, but he still ends up ticking down to that Shadower damage. And Madara gets. Could be in trouble, rolled in upon. No duel creep. yet. He's hiding. Uh oh, that range creep is working against oh, him. Oh no, not the range creep. Oh, yep. Goodbye. Nothing to see here. Oh, there we have. Jump forward. Madara continues to try and run. Five seconds until the duel comes back off cooldown. Tries to slow down S4 with the open wounds. Good silence, good stun. MNT trying to come across and help with the duel. Into the sun strike there, he's out. Chaotic offering strong. And OG, OG, they're not done. They want to look for more here. MNT slowed down by the ice wall. They'll find themselves the Marana kill. And now Skylax in trouble as well. Jump forward for Jarex. Oh, the smash! It hits both of them. Jarex there, enabling OG to get the team wipe. Bringing Advinum to the floor. But they will potentially lose the Rexir out Venom. OG coming in with a very strong push. Melee Rex down in the mid lane, 27 minutes in. OG off to a flying start here in this game, 18 to 9. 27 minute Rex. Oh, I meant to see. That's going to be a good arrow timing. And with the Star Storm, should be able to find this. Oh, yeah, he will. No chance for a Shadow Word. They know they have to take Roach right now. Their timeline is getting cut short because of how many heroes they've killed on the side of Adfinum. See if they, they get any trouble with it. OG, they do have Chaotic Offering back online. Skylark's already there preparing for potential TP through. And he will spot out S4, making a movement up towards the lane. S4's got to be careful how close he comes, because a good stun will allow Thug to jump in, close the gap, and take the Legion Commander out of the fight. Anna's trying to come forward, though. With the setup, dropping the Ice Wall. Will get stunned up. Good Chaotic Offering, though. Onto three, the Meteor as well! He's going to bring the down with the BKB out from Thug. Starts to force Anna back. He has to be careful, though. No tail coming around on the back lines, chopping down Spartan. Both will blink away. Madara in trouble. The Polar Smash keeping him in the range of No Tail Sword. Double kill for No Tail, and it may not be over yet. Skylark in trouble, no tail, jumps forward, triple kill for the Sven. No tail. One of the star performers really of today in both this series and EG, the matchup that OG had against them. Already seeing if any stragglers come in to, to look for a, a sort of a defense, but no tail. Jarax keeping themselves safe and sound up on the high ground. Yeah, they know where he is. Doug wants to move in for more here. He's actually going to walk straight up into them. Takes a silence, Hannah's stun to the face. Skylark will try and attempt to help him out there with the stun. It isn't going to clip onto anyone. Jerex now jumps forward with the Magnetize. MNT with the Star Storm bringing the Earth Spirit down low. The Spike Carapace for holding back Jerax. And Finn now on the retreat. The Dust will find maybe next time. He will be the one beaten down upon. So OG. 8 2. If the Warlock doesn't die very early on, you're perfectly okay. And with the smoke, they may just find themselves a kill. Skylark's coming across. They have got the vision on Jarex. Immediate jump in with the duel. Skylark is going to go down. Can they get themselves anything more? Good silence from No Tail. On to the live scene to make sure there's no chance for a rage from Madara. The counting offering stun. Chaining him up as well. Focusing on the back lines though with Spartan. They managed to cut down onto the Warlock. Will be a buyback from Skylark. They're looking to try and turn this one around. But the jump in there onto Thug. Thug take him down as well. He's out for 80 seconds. Spartan is also going to suffer the price. As no tail picking yet again up another triple kill. Any target you open wounds gets pretty attacked, and they just have so much armor on the Sven that you, you, you it's one of the like you just run away while you're magic immune. That's that's really sad. You can't do any damage. Oh my goodness, no tail playing so beautifully aggressive, jumping forward, forcing Advin and back away from this advance. As OG started him down onto the tier three. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Jerex there with Anna. 
getting the kill on Spartan. They'll clean up a second set of racks 34 minutes in. We might even find a kill off the back of it. MNT has to be so careful. The blink and a silence from No-Tail could spell disaster. Now a completed Bloodthorn. Immediately getting out. Looks like he should be fine. I'm actually saying that fly's got dust. JK tries to TP out, but here comes S4. Fight me, he says. Oh, this is kind of seeming to be an ode back to game one and two, where it turned out to be a little bit of the OG show, Ben. But add for them to find that lead in, as you mentioned, with that combo. OG potentially preparing to fight again. Chaotic offerings back up. They could meet each other in the river spawn. Comes across, but no time immediately jumps in, then gets forced back, Spartan surrounded by OG. Chop down. Until we'll be held back by an arrow, so unlikely that OG find anything more out of this. And Advinum struggling to do anything about it. Maybe he can start here. Skylark going for a play on a. He arm. does have dust. And he get this kill in time, jumping out with Madara. The Lincolns will be popped, but there's backup. Jarex comes forward, and Madara just immediately rages and TPs out. He realizes he's not getting this kill. Jarex rolling forward, does try to jump forward, but Jarex immediately flicks back out of return. And there's this one with the jewel. The Sun Strike, the backup from No Tail, thugs out. Look at Skylark as well. No G. Moving up to the high ground and ready to try and play Mega Creeps at 37 minutes in. My god, Jarex on this Earth Spirit. You don't let that boy have Earth Spirit if you want to win games. Chaotic offering slave down. Matter is in trouble. He'll infest, keeping himself alive for the time being. They'll run, they'll try and hide. Matter caught out again by Jarex. Jumps forward with the boulder smash. And GG is called. Your champions are OG. No tail of like these. They've won three majors. It's an incredible thing. At Finimo, giving us a real, real, absolute cracker of a final series.